Uh, great Will Ferrell, actor, comedian, and uh, longtime L.A. sports fan. He's, uh, <laughs> he is, he is all in with the Bengals. Hi, Will. Uh, got some face paint there. Love it. Uh, homage to you, my friend. Looking uh, oh, back in the day. Back in the day, right. I did that. Remember, I lost <laughs> the bet. You lost the bet, and I had to do that, to and do I had the... to roar. Yeah, oh, that, that is awesome. Roar? Every before I spoke, every time I'd have to go roar. So anyway, I think the Yankees should. <laughs> so, <laughs> a, a, explain your bet that you lost, because Will Will's a a great listener of the show. We appreciate that. <laughs> yes. I didn't know you'd come in dressed as uh, well a, a Bengal. If you recall, last time I was here. <laughs> I got here so early. Yes, you did. <laughs> for my hair and makeup. Yeah. And you guys were speculating, like, what is he doing? Why did he get here so early? Yeah. And you guys were like, oh, he's going to come out as this person or Mugatu or this and that. And I came out just as normal Will Ferrell <laughs> and uh, devastatingly disappointed. You, the looks on your faces, I'm like, God, next time you guys are back, I'm bringing the heat. Uh, well, I didn't know it took you that long just to look like Will Ferrell. Well, it doesn't. I just, I'm very conscientious. Okay. You know, L.A. traffic. Like to, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Are you going to wear this home to the family? Uh, I haven't even thought that far. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm just, thank you. Yeah, one time. Did you see that patch on his, uh, it says Bobby Gritch. How great is that? I've got a Bobby Gritch patch. <laughs> of course. On my jacket. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how long have you owned that? You know, when you think of <laughs> Super Bowl. Yeah. I think you, uh, dressed like a tiger and, and Bobby Gritch. Bobby Gritch. It's good to see you. By the way, I'm pulling for the Rams. <laughs> no, um, are you a Rams fan? I'm not. I'm. I. I was back in the day when I was a kid, and then they <laughs> broke my heart and left. Oh, so you can't fall back in I love? Can't, I can't. I can't fall back in love. Are you pulling for the Bengals? I, I am. I love. I'm, I'm really liking the the, the Joe the Joe uh, Burrow kid. Are you going to go to the game? I'm going to the game. Are you bringing the family to the game? No, no way. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Uh, I gotta be able to move in and out. Yeah, you yeah. gotta stealth. Yeah, uh, but weren't you guys? You guys were coming up with uh, listener of the show. I'm coming off kind of pathetic here. How much I listen to the well, show, right? We wondered, like, what your <laughs> life is like, Will, because you you don't do anything, do you? Weren't you guys coming up with <laughs> nicknames for Joe? Yes, Bur right. Yeah, we came with up with Joe Ohio. Okay, I couldn't take Joe Cool because that's Joe Joe Montana. Yeah. That's not fair. I thought of Sloppy Joe Burrow. Sloppy. <laughs> yeah. In, Everyone loves Sloppy Joe's. Yeah. Had you guys landed on Sloppy Joe? Well, no, because then it I'm glad kinda... I bought the uh, <laughs> dot com. No, I've, don't, I've you got, got yeah, that? I've got the You got rights. the domain? I got the domain to okay. Sloppy Joe. Uh, okay, but it that kind of means he had a bad game or they lost. Like in defeat, yeah, he that's could be true. Sloppy Joe. Okay, maybe that's not How that much good. did you think this through? I just <laughs> was trying to connect Joe I was trying to connect Wheelborough, <laughs> no. Joe Wheelborough. <laughs> I was really, it's a tough one. I like Wheelborough better than I do. Was yeah. this always a love seat? Uh, it was a single chair. It but, was a single chair yeah, before. Yeah, but I brought in, uh, it's, it's called Love Sack. <laughs> it is. After that, the B-52 song. That's Love Shack. Yeah. Yeah, but that's, yeah. That, that's the brand. It's called Love Sack. Oh, it's Love Sack. Yes. Yeah. Are you guys pushing love sack? Yes, we are. Uh, sofas? Yeah, it's a, it's a, oh. sa it's a sectional. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, it is. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not disputing it. I'm not disputing it. Do you want me to get you one? I, I, uh, <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't get through my full intro, though. Oh, okay. Um, all eight episodes of the limited series, The Shrink Next Door, available now on uh, Apple TV+. Plus. Yes. Is it a all, all available. Dark comedy? It's a dark... Would you say it's a com I don't know. I would say you put it in the dark comedy category, but it's um, it's a little more... Dramedy? Dra yeah, it's a little more drama than the... Uh, capital D-R-A-M-A, -A, lowercase D-Y. Okay. Dramedy. Okay. Are you now a serious actor? Uh... I'm here to announce on the Dan Patrick Show that I'm with, now with that makeup on <laughs> to <laughs> only serious acting. Oh, really? So you retired from comedy? Done from comedy. Wow. Well, it was a great run. 
was a great run. Great, great, great run. Uh, what's going to be your first serious acting role? Uh, I'm, I'm going to reprise the Tiger King um, <laughs> in a, a very heart-wrenching drama. Okay. Yeah. And you'll play? I'll play uh, 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 What's-Her-Face. Carol Bass. Yes, Carol Bass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I think somebody's already doing it. No, they're that. already doing it. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, the Danettes said, look, can we ask one question each? Okay. Now, I'm going to let you decide. Now, this didn't work out with Kevin Costner. Uh, Paulie. In what way? Insulted. Oh, oh, really? And Costner didn't have a sense of humor. He, Did, uh... he jumped on Paulie and used the F word. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Uh, he, wow. Yeah, he got F bombed by Kevin okay, Costner. Yeah. Bucket list. Yeah. That's, I was going to say, that's a badge of honor. I, I well, think. I asked him a question because Kevin Costner at one time, I think, was the biggest actor in all of Hollywood. That's fair to say. I would think so. And I yeah. said, when you were at your peak after uh, Untouchables and all those movies. Already. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Already. Yeah. See? Already troubled waters. You, yeah, 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 yeah. If Paulie said that to you, what would you say? Uh, I, I would I'd say keep going. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, you wouldn't F-bomb him. No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, no. Okay. No. But Costner's a serious actor. Serious actor. But I'm about to transition <laughs> into that. So. And then you would have bombed him. Yeah, I would. I would. <laughs> All right, Paul. It'd be worse. All right, you can lead off with your one question for Will Ferrell. Okay, I don't understand anything about how movies are made, but let's say you're in old school <laughs> or whatever comedy you're making and you're one of the right. actors. If you nail a scene, a take of a scene, can you lobby for that scene to be put in the movie, and how does that work? Uh, l- lobby for the scene to get well, put no, in the not movie? That, that take. take of a scene. Let's say that you did take. eight takes of the scene. I, I, re- I listened to the DVD of uh, Old School, and when yeah. you're walking down the stairs in the sweater vest, you did the sneeze, the side yes. sneeze. And Vince Vaughn was like, that's such a sneaky little joke, and he loved it. But when you, if you have a take where you think you nailed it or it's a funny little uh, ad lib. You can, you can uh, w- what they'll do is uh, circle, circle the, the takes. So you'll watch it, and the director will be like, circle that one. So you can double back. If, if, I, if I watch the cut of the movie, I'll go, I, I think I did something weird. A couple, th- And they can, they can double back and put it in if the director's listening to you. Sometimes they are, and sometimes they're not. Usually they are. Okay, but you're with my status. uh, Don't listen to me, Seton. You're one. (laughs) You're one question. My question for Will is: um, Which Winter Olympic sport do you believe you would excel in most? Mm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Probably. Probably, either bobsled or luge. Would you do uh, luge or skeleton? Face first, feet first. Oh, I, I would do luge. I'm not going to do skeleton. But you... Skel- skeleton's fi- face first. Face first, yeah. yeah. I, I wouldn't do the face first, I don't think. Because um, I, have, I have incredible core strength. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I think Incredible you... <laughs> inner thigh. Yeah, because I think you do all the steering yeah. here. With your feet. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Would you yeah. be front or back in the bobsled? Well, what I, I I definitely wouldn't be up front. Yeah, I, I I wouldn't. I'd be one of the guys pushing in the back. I would think. Okay. All right. Did you hear our favorite uh, loser? No. His name is uh, Seaman Pavelchenko. Seaman Pavelchenko. <laughs> and then we found out the, the, he's 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 Ameri- He's from Burbank. <laughs> no, right? he's not. No. <laughs> he is. Oh. I think he's from the Ukraine. And in uh, in the Ukraine, Seaman means Simon. I think. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. So a little sneaky. Yeah. yeah, it's a, it's, yeah. They, yeah. Uh, Todd, your one question for Will Ferrell. What was the moment or situation during your illustrious SNL career where you felt like, you know what? It's time to, I had enough. It's time to move on to the <laughs> next chapter of my uh, my career. So the moment where I'm like, I got to get out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where you felt like, I think it's time to move on to bigger and better things. I have this on my resume. I've done all how, I can do. How much did you? SNL. How much thought did you give this? I was that, thinking about that was more moment. than Polly's question to Costner. I think it's a legitimate question. <sighs> all right. You well, when point. did you know you were washed I on really, Saturday night? I should, I should, I should walk out at this point. <laughs> no, right? no, just, I'm sorry. No. Uh, that wasn't meant I, to be offensive. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if there was a moment where I'm like, I'm done. I better leave. Uh, but I, I, you know, I was on for seven years. At a certain point, I was. I thought ah, I better, I better get out now. How about Cause this? Because I'm, I'm. Let me rephrase, well. rephrase but, your your question, Todd. 
Did I ask that in a way that was that sounded like offensive? Well, it was meant to be. Not, it was meant to be that I, I'm I'm ready for to do something else. I've done I've done it at such a high level, mm. and I'm ready for the next challenge. If you have to explain a, your question, that's how it was meant to be. This is a disaster. <laughs> it is. It is from start to finish. <laughs> this is a. Well, when did you realize though that you'd kind of become you know in pop culture that you were more than just somebody who was on Saturday Night Live that now it was something bigger. Well, you have to remember Saturday Night Live being late night TV, it's not it's like it's like dog years. 7 years equals like 1 year of prime time television. If you know, if you're the cast of Friends, so many people are watching that after one or two seasons, you're you become iconic. At the end of seven seasons of Saturday Night Live, people f were just now knowing what my name was. When you was, were washed exactly, up, leaving. When I was washed up, leaving. Leaving. Saturday Night Live. And they were like, good luck, pal. <laughs> You're going to need it. Uh, so, but I just, I kind of left. I, I literally did that show thinking, oh, I could just do this for the rest of my career. It's so much fun. It's it's the thing I always wanted to do. But I thought, well, I'm, I'm, I'm doing pretty well right now. It's it's now the good time to leave and test the waters and uh, and I kind of it was a real there wasn't like 20 script, scripts waiting for me, you know it was it was very much a leap of faith in the sense of I had old school that was in the in the can, which is a term means finished finished product <laughs> finished in the can, but hadn't come out yet, and then. We had this script about a, a, a human raised by elves up at the North Pole that was an interesting concept but needed a lot of work. But that hadn't even been set up yet. But you and so I that was kind of I just I just thought for better or for worse I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the show and see what happens. But did you have a sense though when you're leaving that old school was your career sort of riding on old school success? A little bit, and it it had been. Uh, it was originally supposed to come out in November, and then it got pushed to February, which is usually not a good sign when they hold on to a movie. And uh, and so, yeah, yeah, it was it was it was definitely a, a leap of faith. But and then Elf, you've talked about where you thought you might yeah. have made the biggest mistake right, of your right. life. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. In the uh, in the yellow tights, sitting alone in my trailer, but just. <laughs> Just looking in the mirror going, huh, what else can I do when this all goes downhill? I can't imagine of you yeah. sitting in your double banger. Yeah, in my double, and it was. And, it was not and, even And a, you're in costume. I'm in costume. All by yourself. With a little tiny, you know, uh, little tiny electric heater <laughs> at my feet because it was freezing, you know, December in New York. And, uh, but what, when did you know that that was... Because you get James Kahn. Yeah. And, and you had some really interesting... John you know, Favreau Peter Dinklage. was fairly confident throughout the whole process. And, uh, <laughs> fairly. <laughs> <laughs> and, but it wasn't... It, you know, I, I'm sure Sandler's talked about it. I'm sure you've had a lot of actors talk about it. You're like, you don't know until you're sitting in, with the audience watching the, the film. Oh, so even after the yeah, fact and, and just sitting in that first preview, oh. and you're you're, you know, it's an intense opening night. How so nervous speak. though, are you? Pretty nervous. I'm not nervous anymore, when I <laughs> when I when I'm at these test screens. But I, it was yeah, you 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 have butterflies in your stomach, and but we can't think of Christmas without Elf now. You, I mean, it's you, it, it's in there with you can't like if four you or do, five. I'll sue you. <laughs> But you got It's a Wonderful Life. Sure. You got Ralphie, Christmas yep. Story. Yep. Elf. Uh, uh, booty, Rudolph. Booty Call. Booty, booty, booty. One of the classic <laughs> Christmas movies. Booty Call 3. Booty Call 3. Uh, no, I'm very lucky to, to have, uh, you know, it's very rare to have something that people watch again and again and yet, you know, have it land around Christmas. It's okay. pretty cool. I know you went through all of this trouble to put the makeup on. Yes. Can you, do you want to come back with this? Or? It looks pretty good. It does. I'm not gonna lie. It. Um... I wonder how long. I wonder if I could spend the rest of my week in this makeup and just see it. How how crazy people thought I was. So if I you were. just you know slept on your back. Yep. And you <laughs> you took a 
<laughs> just like that. Yeah. You know, walk in to Slept get coffee in a, at Starbucks. In and a, what's this called again? That's a love, that's love sack. That's slept, the sectional. Slept upright in this In the sectional. love section. Yeah. Yeah. Sectional. Uh, can you, can you come back with us or? Um, what do you think, Fritz? Should I come back? I really Todd's hope you got will. another question. Okay, for we'll let Todd come up with another <laughs> so question. So where did Todd, you think? I'll come back. Todd's got. Okay. I'll come back. All right, we'll we'll come back with Will Ferrell after yeah. this. What did you say? What did you ask? Yeah. 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 And then, yeah. Yeah. wow. Yeah, Costner. And was, that was Costner yeah. was serious when so, he got yeah, the Costner. I, I was trying to make the leap that was he in person? Yeah. yeah. Here. Uh, here, New, New York. York. Oh, okay. I was trying to make the case that taking Field of Dreams. It's a very dangerous movie. And he actually agreed, but at the time, yeah. I, I clunkily worded it to uh, <laughs> your your career is at its peak. And I was like. And I knew it, and I was like hoping it would blow by it. He goes, "What'd you say? What?" Yeah. He goes, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" Yeah, like, so you can't yeah. say that. He goes, "Oh, oh okay." You think right. I'm well, peak. And then he goes, "He goes, it was dangerous because it was a, a fantasy movie." So I got to tell you one thing about Elf. Uh, my kids love Elf, and we were in New York about two and a half years ago, and my daughters were probably eight and ten at the time, and we walked past a coffee shop, right? And they go, "Dad, we got to do it. We got to do it." And world, they said, "We do it." Congratulations! And, and I go, do it fast. And, run out. and they walked in. Do it fast. They're 10 and 8. Yeah. And they're in New York. And they run in like, congratulations. congratulations you, you did it. it. And they're going like this. And everyone's looking like they're absolutely crazy. The best same, cup of coffee. Same reaction in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, but they yeah. couldn't wait to do it in New York City. They're like, Dad, is this the one? I'm like, this is the one. And we oh know. Now, that is committing to a role right there. Like, that you is sort of went half ass. Intense focus right there. That's, that's committed. I, 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 like we were saying before, I didn't realize it was the whole outfit. Yeah, and I, I had no idea what the bet was, but it's what's funny about clips like these is yeah. they don't even remember, like, they'll show back an old clip and I'll be getting, like, Dan Starbucks with my underwear on outside <laughs> right. of my pants. And, and I'm like, why did I do that? You're just in what? work mode. Yeah, you're, you're just, yeah. okay. Yeah. I got one more thing. I wasn't looking at your groin, but what's the belt? This is a... Wow. No. Ron. used? Ron. Yeah. It was just a, a, a gift <laughs> from Do you want to close her up? my oh. wardrobe my wardrobe friend. And she was like, I found this Ron belt. <laughs> so for people who get the reference, great. If you don't, yeah, then okay. I've just got a belt that says Ron. You can just think you're Ron. <laughs> there goes Ron. It's just a little subtle okay. uh, yeah. right, accent. Normally subtle accent. wardrobe doesn't let you take things. Like you don't did you take anything from any movie? Are you allowed to do that? The fire suit. Didn't you tell us the fire suit? I've got my. Well, you got Ron Burgundy. I got my my. I got uh, the the Flint Tropics uniform <laughs> from Semi Pro. I've got uh, Ron Burgundy outfit. I've got a skating outfit from Blades of Glory. <laughs> you would never know that he's a serious actor now, the way he's dressed today. Bengals super fan Will Ferrell, staying with us. Uh, you can see him in the shrink. Go, go Gauls. Bengals. <laughs> Us Bengals, the real Bengals fan, no, you just shorten it to Gulls. Yeah. The Shrink Next Door is available now on Apple TV+. Plus. So uh, Will is in there with uh, Paul Rudd, and it's a, kind of a serious turn. Yeah. 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 And you've gone serious. There's now. some laughs. There's some laughs through the tears, but it's, 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 it's serious. Can you cry on cue? Um, when Fritz, he asks me questions, <laughs> yes. When he breaks me down. Fritz, uh, I, I can't cry on. I can't cry on cue. Well, you did for my uh, my your speech for me for the that, uh, Radio Hall of Fame. That I well, because I really yeah, that one was easy because of the emotion of the moment. Everybody. What was the react? By the way, we didn't talk since. No, we didn't. Um, so I asked Will <laughs> to kind of help and duck me into the Radio Hall. And of Fame. you said, and you said, don't. Don't be afraid to get emotional. Yes. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yes. And yeah. it's so we're in Chicago. This is uh, back in October, and and uh, Will just did a video, and I didn't want to let anybody know. Everybody else is doing these heartfelt, you know, intros yeah. for this person who's going into the Radio <laughs> Hall of Fame, and then Will just got up there and started saying I basically wasn't going to amount to anybody anything, and everybody knew that, and then uh, the tears came, <laughs> artificial tears. How? How did the Radio Hall of Fame people react to my my level of... They loved it. Okay, good. They, they loved it. Good. Yeah, they did. They had a good sense of humor. Yeah. But that's when you started to transition into a serious actor, it felt that like. That was the moment. It was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could you do something... If I said, um, like, uh, 
Taxi driver. Right. Are you, like, mentally, can you get into a role like that, a bad guy where you go something deep and dark like that? I well, I, I kind of had to do it in Shrink. There, there, there are pretty powerful moments where, you know, uh, Paul Rudd, who plays the therapist, uh, um, who is kind of controlling Marty's life, is very manipulative throughout this this whole series, and he kind of, you know, push. There's a push pull going on where he, you know, he gives me encouragement and then he makes me feel horrible. And those moments were incredibly real. And it didn't. He was so effective and so mean <laughs> that it was not. It was not hard to get to that anxious place. And uh, and before I knew it, I, I'm I'm crying, which is a very surreal. You're in front of a crew of 50 people and you have to cry on cue. But it, it, it's funny how you get yourself into that space and it, it's just happening. What's the role that you brought home? Um, in terms of like I couldn't shake that it? That character. Uh, I, I haven't done, I don't think I've done so many things where I'm like, you know, you only have to talk. Please don't speak to me as Will. Talk to the character. Uh, I'm pretty good about shaking it off when you're I, not a well, Daniel Day Lewis. I'm not a guy. Daniel Day. No, okay. I'm not a. Da but I do. I did uh, take a year off and study shoemaking oh, in did? Italy. Okay. Yes. Okay. Just like Daniel Day Lewis yeah. did. Uh, Shoe cobbling. Sorry. But but you're not cobbler. Yeah. You're not Ron Burgundy at home. No. 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 My wife would kill me. I was going to say, did yeah. you want to be yeah. Ron Burgundy at yeah. home? <laughs> yeah. Um, Has your wife ever said... Sometimes when we make love, though. <laughs> Hello, honey. I'm now going to lay upon you. <laughs> scotch, 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 scotch. Scotch, 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 scotch. We are now beginning what is called <laughs> lovemaking session. It's going to last exactly seven and a half minutes. We're beginning. <laughs> Do you even drink scotch? I'll have, I'll have scotch on occasion, sure. Like if you're going to tie one on with us tonight. Right. In Venice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is it Venice or Marina del Rey? Well, I'm getting in conflicting that area. pieces it, of information. Well, if we're going to party, we're going to yeah, Venice. Yeah, of course. Yeah. What are you drinking? Uh, you know, I'll, I'll anything from an IPA. <laughs> Enjoy a good IPA. Who doesn't? Right? I could. You're acting like I'm crazy. No, it's no, just, no. I, okay. I, it's hard to take you serious IPA, with that paint on your face. Uh, uh, <laughs> maybe a, 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 a tequila inspired drink. Okay. Um, When's the last time you were drunk? I'm trying to remember. Like like slurring drunk? Yeah. Not blackout drunk. <laughs> like, like just like, wow, uh, Will looks like he's tipsy. I don't, my tolerance isn't what it is, what it used to be. Uh, so I do find myself even after, say, three glasses of wine. <laughs> okay. Sometimes. But at Saturday Night Live, did you party? We would uh, pretty much every Wednesday after the read through, we tie one on. You get after it till three in the three or four in the morning. Yeah, and then the, then you got the after party on uh, Saturday on night the, till Sunday Saturday. morning. Is that mandatory that you have to show up and? It's not mandatory, but you you just it was so much fun. You'd stay out till five six in the morning, and uh, you know, hang out with the guys from the Strokes. <laughs> <laughs> I never did. But other people told me about it. He is uh, Will Ferrell. Uh, all episodes of the uh, limited... I did, I did see Christopher Walken crawl out of a party once. Crawl. Crawl. But didn't he show up? Isn't that the famous... Uh, he, he showed up a party and he had kittens? He had a coat. Uh, Shy McBride told us that he showed up at a dinner party. He had um, a, a coat and he had kittens. Oh, I don't remember that. <laughs> and, he, and he said... I don't remember. I've got... Yeah. Kittens. Oh, kittens. I just remember talking the first time he hosted. I remember I remember talking to him and going, gosh, Chris, so fun to watch you work. You're, you're just so funny. He's like, really? Because I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because, well, keep doing it because it's just everything you say is just it doesn't matter what we write for you. It's just so funny. The limited. Series. I have no idea. Is The Shrink Next Door, available on Apple TV+. Plus. <laughs> Great to see you. Uh, we're up against a break. Are you guys going to SoFi? Will you be there? No. Are, no, I, you can come to my house, but I won't be there. <laughs> I'll be at SoFi.